Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try this again because I tried doing the first video and it kind of erased on me. So I'm gonna try doing this a second time. Uh, talking about one point perspective and how to accomplish uh, your drawing. Like I said, the only things you're gonna need for this is a paper, a pencil, and some sort of straight edge. If you have a ruler, a ruler would work best. All right, let me get my supplies together and I'll come back. All right, so I have my paper, my ruler, and my pencil. And I'm gonna try to, first thing is set my horizon line. So I want this to be kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring. Uh, if I measure this, about eight and a half inches. So we'll go about four inches. I'll set it a little bit higher than the middle, four inches. Then I'm gonna draw that line. And this will be my horizon line. Once I have my horizon line set, then I'm going to put my vanishing point on that horizon line. And if this paper is 11 inches long, right at five and a half, that's where I'm gonna set my vanishing point. So that's how you would set it up. A line and a dot, horizon line and a vanishing point. So what am I gonna do next? So my idea is for my drawing, is I'm going to have a uh, some buildings, a street, buildings on each side, they're probably like my name right here on the top. I'm gonna to try and incorporate a couple of things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna to try to set a my street. So I'm gonna measure here at the bottom, and if five and a half is the middle, and I'll probably go an inch and a quarter on each side. And those are the left side of the street, the right side of the street, and the center. So then I can just take this and draw that towards my vanishing point. And then for the center, starting bigger, they get smaller as they go towards the vanishing point. All right. So uh, when drawing buildings, you know, the first thing you need to think about is where they're gonna go and kind of what I do is I start from the front and work my way towards the back. So uh, for example, starting here in this corner, let's say I wanted a building. I'll just kind of think about the outline. I'll make this one easy. I'll make it into a uh, rectangle. I'm gonna start, I just kind of sketched it out there. And now with my ruler, I'm gonna make it the width of the ruler, that way it's easy. With my ruler. I'm going to make this rectangle. So there it is. Now this one, uh, all you got to do now is take the corners and go towards your vanishing points. And uh, I'm going to do this kind of lightly because we said when you do your orthogonal lines, you're going to erase some of them, or you're going to erase a big part of them. So for that reason, you don't want to have them really dark. And then once you have those orthogonal lines, then you just got to figure out what's going to be the, the depth of them. And once you kind of set the depth, let's say I want it right there, then you're going to try to make this line parallel with this one. I know sometimes for us it's kind of hard to measure parallel, but I think it's going this, oh. The original line is going this way. The second one has to follow it also. And then from there, you just come in with the second, the top line, to set the width of the top. And that would be my building, right? Now, I can erase these, and just be left with the building itself. All right, so what happens when you wanna do more multiple buildings and it's kind of sitting behind this one. So what you can do is, let's say, okay, right here is gonna be a space between this building and this building. And this building right here is gonna be a little bit back. So you can very lightly kind of sketch out where you want this. This is gonna be a big building. Boom. I'm just looking for the side view. Right? And now that I have it sketched out, I'm just gonna use my ruler to really go in here and make sure it's nice and straight. I'm gonna lightly mark it down here. There's that. All right, there's my building. I can get rid of my sketch lines. And now I kind of work with this corner, even though it's behind this one, I'm still gonna need to know where this corner is at so I can run this orthogonal line. So coming from here to there, from the top. I don't know if you guys saw the video with the with the link that I gave you, but that video, the guy was talking about how you want to do all, all of the corners or edges. And in the video, they actually did like the inside one. But if any of those orthogonal lines are going through or behind, like if I was to draw this one, it would go inside of the shape. It's not really necessary. So now that I have my orthogonal lines, I can come in here and set the width of my building. And you'll kind of notice that once you have your building in place and once you have it drawn out, the closer they are to the bottom, the wider, the more you'll see here at the top. Once they get closer to this horizon line, you see this top of the building is barely a little bitty sliver. So that's how it would work with uh, the buildings and how they look in comparison to where they're at on your paper. 
not come in and darken that. Not come in here and erase these lines. So, so far that's what I have, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and pause there and I'll come back. We're about to get this class started. All right, so I have those couple of buildings now on this side. So I'm gonna come over here to the left side now and see what I can do on this side. So for the left side, I'm gonna do a building that is instead of just straight rectangular, I'm gonna do a building that has a little bit different shape on this. So for this one's gonna be starting off with the rectangle, it's gonna be like a little part that comes up like that. So now that I have it sketched out, I'm gonna use my ruler. I'm gonna use my ruler to uh, draw this in a little bit straighter. And I'm gonna come in here. this shape and the top so there is my building so it looks something like that. now that I have that I'm gonna erase these sketch lines that I had and now what I'm gonna do any corner that I have on this that's on the outside going towards it I'm gonna run an orthogonal line the only one that will not be run towards the vanishing point is probably gonna be this one because that will make it on the inside remember if any of your orthogonal lines are inside of your shape you really don't need to draw them all right So I'm lightly drawing my orthogonal lines, lightly, lightly. And that would be my orthogonal lines for that building, right? So now that I have them, I can kind of decide and set the width of it. And like I said, to start it off, I'm just gonna start with this tall one going down and I'm gonna set the width. And we're trying to stay parallel. A lot of people, they have a tendency to draw your lines this way. So make sure it's parallel going this way. So I'm gonna go maybe right there. So once I have this set, I can follow this where it ended and continue making my line. Cause I know that once I have my first line, then I just gotta get as close as I can to parallel to the original. I can continue making these. And there it is. There will be my building. I can go ahead and erase the rest of these orthogonal lines and just leave my building. Okay. And then right here. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take a kind of a curved approach to this and I'm just hand drawing this. It's a nice little curve. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go up a little bit to show the height of my letters. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And I'm going to draw them in. I'm going to kind of try to draw some block letters. So if I go M-O-R, E-N-O, M-O-R should be on this side. The E-N-O should be on that side. That way it's kind of uh, centered. M-O-R. So I'm going to go with the E right here. style not round for me it's gonna be easier to do uh, block style because especially when you're running orthogonal lines it's much easier to run orthogonal lines off of uh, straight corners and not round round circle round shapes so you know and then MOR so the R will go here This is just kind of like a sketch, right? All right, so now that I have those. So the next thing you want to do is pretty much, since it's kind of going above the vanishing point, for the most part, you're going to have these bottom 
parts of your letters come towards this vanishing point. Like I said, if any of the top corners go through the letter, you're not going to draw those. So, I'm going to start with this M. And I'm going to start with all the bottoms of the letters. Because that'll help with the overlapping. Because some of these letters are going to overlap. So I'm going to do all the bottoms and then I'll come back in. And if any tops or other sections of the letters need to be drawn, then I'll draw those in. Okay. Like for example, so I drew this bottom of the M. So if I was to draw the top, because this is going to go here, then wherever it touches the O, that's where that would end. So that's, that's all you would do for that part. Like this middle part of the M, We'll go like that. And then from here, I can set the thickness of my letters. So staying parallel, let's say I want it about that thick, and then it will just be parallel with the original. We'll go up, down, go there, and then up. And this O will go right around here. We'll go up there. And then once I'm done with that, then I can come in here and erase all the extra parts of the letters that I don't need. Now, for me that I've been doing this while, I mean, it's still, you got to think about a little bit what parts of the letters overlap with the others, how it's going to get tucked behind the other. But once you have it down, I mean, like anything else, it just takes a little bit of, oh, and then if you ever have the insides of letters, then you do the insides also. And then depending on how thick you made this, I'll just do it here, just so you can kind of see, and you would match that, depending on the thickness of whatever you did. Now, like this R, this R is not going to be thick enough, as thick as this part here. So all you would do is, you would come in here, like this corner would come down, this corner would come down, and that would be it for the R. That's how the R would look. Not, nothing cut off in the middle because it's too short. Anyway, that's how you do letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video. That's all I wanted to show you as far as doing one point perspective. I mean, one of the main things is, you know, draw lights, draw light light so that if you need to erase things, they can be erased, they can be erased easily. And also, you know, especially if you've, never, if you've never done a one point perspective drawing, don't, don't expect to get it right on your first time. That's why you wanna draw lightly, okay? Uh, I'm gonna continue working on this drawing and I'll show you some progress pictures and uh, maybe I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys, have fun, one point perspective. All right, guys, so uh, this is what I have so far. You know, uh, it's taken me a pretty good long while to get to this point. Uh, I've just been using pencil lightly and I've been using this marker I found, uh, this Papermate flare marker. Like I said, I know some of us don't have all these materials at home, so that's how come we're doing this drawing assignment. Uh, one point perspective. Like I said, uh, I went ahead and stopped the time lapse there because if I would have kept it going, it would have taken, taken me forever to finish this. So I'm going to continue working on this. But for the meantime, this is a video that I'm going to post. So you can kind of see my progress and see where I'm at right now. And uh, as I add to this, then I'll keep recording and then I'll add to the video. All right, guys.